Hello. Welcome back. It's been quite a while since I have made or posted any videos, but I thought that today, being we had a solar eclipse just a little while ago, would be a great time for us to do a little reading and see what's up with this energy. So, double solar eclipse in Aries. Oof, that's some tough energy. We also have a stellium in the sky with other planets. And I did a little pre-shuffle on these babies a bit earlier. So, why don't we just get right into it. Let's see what's up with this energy. So, knock three times. Cut the deck into thirds and read from here. Put it back in another order. So the energy that is leaving, the energy that is present, and the energy that is flowing in towards us. So let's see where we were headed from last. Oh, shit. Seven of air in reversed. Okay. So, perhaps you were feeling like you were avoiding an argument. Or perhaps you were saying goodbye to being around people that have energy that just does not, like, I want to say reconcile with you. But I don't think that's the proper word. Seems more like saying no to the unnecessary friction. You can't suffer fools, okay? You can't argue with people who have a different mindset. And this is showing me that we are willing to step out of that energy. That we are willing to realize what makes us connect and feel like we are we're all of the birds but we're not all the same bird okay we're a flock but some people are emu and some people are albatross and some people are robins and some people are penguins see what i mean and understanding that our differences are also our strengths okay Ah, oh, the goddess of air in reverse. Now, what story do you tell yourself? What story do you tell others? It is going to be a pivotal time for our stories to change. We have to let go of what stories have bound us. It's time to untie, to loosen those binds, to loosen those threads, to loosen those chains, to loosen those ropes that keep us in a place where we feel stagnant, where we feel suffocated emotionally, where we feel misunderstood. And it goes along with perhaps the story that we told, that we were fighting to tell our story. It's unnecessary, okay? Not saying that your healing isn't necessary to get through it, but if you keep on telling the same fucking story over and over, and it's negative, and I can hear it. I can hear it in my life too. I can see it in the lives of those around me that are close friends or work or whatever. And what are we coming into? Look at all this air. Oh my God. And it's all reversed. The ace of air. Bones. This harp is made of bones. We need to clarify that. We need to allow the story to be dead, right? And sometimes we could tell a story so many times it just becomes a story. Think about songs. How many heartbreak songs are out there? Millions. But at some point, the musician who is singing their song is going to 
not feel connected, not feel hurt, not feel jaded, not feel whatever it was that they felt when they wrote that song, that heartbreak song, move out of the damn Heartbreak Hotel. All right, Wisdom Keeper. She's in reverse. And she's here to tell us when the time is right, we can truly sink in. Our stories will morph into the wisdom that will affect the future generations. So, given all this Aries energy, it's so, so much angst. Um, it's the first sign of the zodiac. And it's I am. Now, with the stellium that we're seeing, and I will post a picture, with the stellium that we're seeing, the sun, the moon, the north node, Eris, Chiron, are all conjunct in Aries. That's a lot of fire, people. So be careful with what you say. Be mindful of what you don't say and make sure that you're not just continuing to tell a story because you are manipulating someone into feeling bad, because you are elevating someone into feeling good. If it is not genuine, it will backfire. So if you want to just be the peacekeeper, go ahead. That's fine. And there's a place for that. But what we're looking for is to become the wisdom keepers, all right? Shit's changing, and it's changing fast. So put, I was going to say, put your crystals in the basket before they hatch, all right? So I'm sorry, I'm just getting some more info. It's a little scary. It's a little staticky. Those of you who work as psychics, as light keepers, as intuitives, as empaths, you may not call yourself that. It's more often the people who call themselves that that are full of shit. Um, Naturally, people have gifts. And the more you use them, the more they give. But there are plenty of people who let their ego guide the ship instead of their heart, instead of their soul. And we need more people, heart and soul, regardless of title, to be the wisdom keepers. This is a very quick era of transformation. I mean, look at the Renaissance. That shit took 300 years, 400 years. The time we are in now, we'll have a title later, but it is a quick one. And it is like 50 to 100 years of absolute bonkers change and insanity. So we need to hold on to the wisdom so that we can tell that story. So we can transmute the energy. But be careful of playing with fire because it will burn you. Good luck. Walk away from the fight. You can't argue with crazy people. You can't argue with ignorant people. And you want to get stuck talking about politics. You're going to talk yourself into a circle. Get into the heart and soul of the matter. Recreate the story that you weave. Every thread has intent and purpose. Be careful of the words you choose. Because the energy behind them is huge. Know when to say goodbye. The tale as old as time is dead. Okay? Time is dead. Our concept of time is dead. We are constantly working, growing, and flowing in a variety of different dimensions. Like it or not. That's it. And the story you tell 
May it be an allegory for the blessings of the future. All right, my loves. I hope that's helpful to any of you out there. And be loving to one another and be gentle towards yourself. Okay, bye now.